Okay, that's really simple. Use drone link for mapping, by the way. It's just uh, create a flight path and then connect with the drone. And after that, click start. Hello everyone, welcome in a mangrove map. Today I will share how to use drone DJI Air 2S for mapping and I will use uh, drone link software to catch up uh, all of the location. So let's go. Uh, this one is a place to save uh, drone and protect it much easier. Go to anywhere, I think. And this one is uh, drone uh, with a sensor in here and here. And this one is camera. Be careful to open this one. The first one, we must uh, open this propeller stuff. Hey. And for this one, ah, top up. Mm. Okay. Let's go open this one. Be careful. Okay. This is propellers. Have a uh, two different color. Without col color and orange color. Orange in all orange. Like this one. With orange color. And just plug in here click and check it before we fly black color and click black color without color okay plug in okay it's same and then this one okay. ready and we use this one, battery. So the energy from battery, just uh, really easy. Just plug it in here. Okay. Okay. Ready. And then this one is remote control to control this drone. Yeah. And we must use mobile phone and software in here. By the way, uh, a lot of software we can use it, but for today, uh, because we have a flight path, so it's just a click start and then a drone automatically uh, run. This one. Roll in the location. Okay. Ready, connect with the mobile phone and cable, sorry. Uh, I think much better. Uh, we open the cable first. Use Tab C. And if you have an iPhone, you can change this one. iPhone. X. Plug in, in here. Okay, check it. And first of all, we must start this one, drone, uh, two times, okay, on, to press okay, the first one and then second one, until uh, we hear a uh, sound. Uh, make sure location is safe from uh, trees and uh, another like buildings or car or something else. So, and then after we start this drone, so start this remote. Okay, let's press the power two times. First and second. The indicator of remote. And then choose drone link. This one. Okay. Uh, we have uh, some flight pad, but uh, I won't use three new training because in this location, just click this one. By the way, we can create this flight pad on our desktop or 
our mobile phone directly. That's a really easy. The same location. Okay. Okay, every everybody, we will start. Just uh, click start, and then by the way, we can pause uh, when uh, drone flight. So I mean like pause in the in the sky and then come back again to continue flight path. Flight path. We can click start again. It's really easy. Okay, let's click start. Uh, okay. The drone flying uh, in altitude 30 meters. Yep. Yeah, and the drone will be uh, flying in 30 meters and around maybe 10 kilometers per hour but we can setting the altitude and the fasting of the drone. And this one is capturing uh, side by side. And then we can uh, click pause and then uh, drone can uh, come back in the same location. So the function is when we have a large area, so we can pause and change the battery because uh, drone need a battery for a flight. Okay. I will click pause. We pause. So the drone stop in the same location. And after the pause, we can click uh, return to home. Return to home. So after return to home, we can uh, click start again. And, and then drone will be uh, continue the flight path. It's really easy, by the way. Okay, we can also uh, the drone automatically landing. Just click start, pause, and starts again. Automatic landing in the same place, and when uh, we need uh, change the battery, just uh, change the battery and then start again. So imagine this battery uh, we change because uh, this is just a sample, so I will continue again. Let's click start again. Three, two, one, starting mission. Okay, that's really simple. Use drone link for mapping, by the way. It's just uh, create a flight path and then connect with the drone and after that click start and we just waiting in the same place and after that process the data yep and i, I will give some information so before we fly our drone we must uh, make sure the weather this this is, is really a uh, good condition for drone of flight because without uh, rainy of course and then uh, the sunlight it's really clear so we can uh, get uh, capture really the tile in a drone link we have a two display the first display is map the second display is uh, image but we can change the big one or short one just click in here and then uh, you can see image more large rather than map
accomplished. Uh, by the way, uh, it's com complete mission. So the drone will be come back and will be uh, landing in the same location. That's really easy. And with the drone link, we don't need anything without to use this one. Everything in here automatically. Okay, landing safe, and we we got uh, all of the all of our data capturing by a camera and drone and safe in a memory card. And after that, we transfer our data in our computer and a processor processing auto mosaic, and we have a mapping. Okay, everyone, thank you. See you later.